Welcome to the Massachusetts Renaissance Fair's Haunted Pirate Month and our historical pirate talks. Jewich, and Granuel, Gronya Nuala, Granya O'Malley, or Grace O'Malley, the Pirate Queen. Now, if it weren't for Captain Hook bringing us all back from the dead last year with the magic of Never Never Land at the Haunted Hills Pirate and Mermaid Festival, I would not be here today. And I certainly would not be speaking to you in English. I hated the English. Well, mostly. You see, I was a clan leader. Yes, you heard me right. Ireland at the time was not sexist like England. And my father decided to pass down his name and his leadership role to me over my brother Donal. Oh, Donal was much happier that way. He was a musician. Anyway, my clan lived on Clare Island in Ireland, and fishing was our main way to make ends meet. My father saw the gift of the sea in me, and I took to captain in a ship. In the 1500s in Ireland, the English kept trying to take our land. Not much has changed, I'd say. They would set the clan leaders against one another to divide and conquer. But they could not get Clare Island. And I figured fair was fair. So I would rob from their ships whenever they came near. One time, I melted down an entire metal roof to pour upon the invading English heads. <laughs> they didn't see that one coming. They changed the name of the tower to Hens Castle in my honor. I had two husbands and three children. My second husband, Richard Burke, was an amusing man. He used to walk around all day in a suit of armour. Well, <laughs> I wanted his castle. And in Ireland at the time, if you were a woman, you could divorce your husband simply by saying, I release you. Now I'm sure that some of you wish it was still that easy. I went straight to his castle and told him that we were getting married. He was a little confused at first, but eventually he agreed. Maybe my invading clansmen helped him make up his mind. Well, we were wed, and eventually he left the castle. When he returned, I told him that he was released, and I had another castle to my name. He was a good sport about the whole thing, actually, and eventually became part of my crew, and we had a son together. The story of my youngest son, may or may not be true. <laughs> I am a bit of an Irish legend. It's said that I was in labour below deck while our ship was being boarded by the Spanish. We'd been stealing from the Spanish for many years, so they did not appreciate seeing us. I gave birth, grabbed a sword, and stomped back to the top deck, covered in blood and screaming like a banshee. Well, I gave the Spanish such a fright that they fled back to their ship and took off. Don't mess with a mother, especially not an Irish one. Now you all may be saying that this is all made up. Irish lore. Some of it might be exaggerated. And the English tried to bury any story or song about me. Even writing down my exploits under Richard's name, like he was a pirate captain. But they could not unwrite my meeting with Queen Elizabeth. I was a grandmother by then, and one of the longest-lived pirates in history. There were stories about me all throughout Ireland and England. So when my brother and son were captured by the English, I used that infamy to gain an audience with the Queen. Sure, I didn't speak any English, and she didn't know any Irish, but we both spoke Latin from the church. I hammed up the grandma routine trying to make it sound like it just, I was just a poor old lady who wanted her family to be safe from the mean Englishman. Well, the queen saw through that and was more interested in my exploits. She wanted to hire me as a privateer to help her steal Spanish gold. And since I was already good at doing that, I agreed and my family was set free. They say that my meeting with Queen Elizabeth was like a meeting of equals. So I became known as the Pirate Queen 
and continued to rob from the English until I eventually retired. Thank you for listening to my tale. Become a patron to see exclusive content or come find me at Haunted Hills Pirate and Mermaid Festival next year at Tolgi Wood Chesterfield Camp. Slauncha! <laughs>